Hi, this is Eileen from Materialize Belgium. In this tutorial video, we'll talk about exporting platforms with a build processor. Build processors are software packages that convert your build into slices and prepare a job file that can be sent to your machine directly. Each build processor is specific to a brand and machine model. The build processors of Materialize have been developed in collaboration with several machine vendors in order to guarantee seamless communication between the software and hardware. Build processors are fully integrated with Magix, so you can process your platform and send job files to your machine directly from Magix. Thanks to their ability to control an extensive range of build parameters, build processors allow you to optimize the quality and efficiency of your builds. Let's start with an existing platform and see how we can use a materialized build processor inside Magix to slice it. Please note that there is the term BPROC before the name of the machine. This means that this machine profile is connected to its specific build processor and that you can send the platform to the build processor directly from Magix. If you are working on a machine profile connected to a build processor, you will also notice a new ribbon with the name of your machine. If you'd like to learn more about creating build platforms with a build processor connection, please see our tutorial on creating build platforms. You can use the functions in this ribbon to process your build. Let's click on Build. In the pop-up window, you can define a job type. Pre-process refers to processing the build and saving the result to a custom output directory. Build, on the other hand, refers to processing the build and sending the result to a pre-configured upload folder or the computer of your machine. Let's continue with Build and give a name for our build. Next, we need to assign processing profiles to our parts. These profiles are created and saved via the build processor settings. On the configure job window, we can assign the material type, slice profile, and default build strategy profile. In the list below, we can also assign a separate profile for supports. Let's click on OK. Now that everything is configured, we can click on Submit Job. Now, the processing progress can be monitored on the Build Processor window of your machine. By hovering your mouse cursor above the progress bar, you can follow the processing stages. Once completed, our pre-processed job was transferred to the build window because we had selected build earlier. Depending on your machine and build processor, the files created by the build processor could either be copied to a pre-configured upload folder or the computer of your machine. Let's take a look at these slices. For this, I'm going to use Materialize Inspector. Materialize Inspector includes functionalities for inspecting your slices, job files, and pictures taken during the build to check the quality of your parts before, after, or during the build. So, here are our slices with the supports and the parts, together with their borders and hatches, all created by the build processor. Thank you for watching, and please make sure you check our other tutorial videos. For further questions about our software, please don't hesitate to contact the support line of your nearest Materialize office. Thank you.